Good day guys, Galina here. So welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, we will be doing the folder redirection. And sa ating po server natin yung accessera. Okay, so how does this work? Well, we have domain users, right? So mga domain users po, pwede po sila mag-save sa documents, sa desktop folder. But, maaaring hindi po nila alam na yung sinesave nila doon ay pumupunta sa server. Nakakameron ng copy si server. Okay? Um, ang isang computer po na ginagamit sa trabaho, dapat po, hindi po hinahalo ito ng mga um, personal na bagay. So, dapat po, pang work purposes lang po talaga. But, hindi naman po natin may iwasan yun. Okay? So, dapat po guys, um, kinakailangan, maingat tayo sa pagsisave. Especially kung nag-work ka sa isang malaking company, uh, probably meron po uh, siyempre, server yan. Okay? Um, dapat nag-iingat po tayo ng pagsisave dito. Yung mga personal uh, files po natin, as much as possible, sa ating po, uh, personal storage media. Okay? So, paano po pagawin nyo na iset up natin yung folder redirection na yung mga user once na nag-save sa documents folder nila, nagkakamero ng copy ang server. Okay, so let's start. Okay. So, on your server, guys, mag-create lang po kayo ng folder dun sa ating um, drive D o sa local disk D. Okay. So, for example, create ko ako ng folder dito. New folder. Okay, and then I will rename it as redirect. So, para alam po na itong folder na ito is para sa folder redirection. Okay? So, pagka-create po natin ng folder, okay, right-click and go to Properties. So, we will configure the sharing and the security of this folder. So, first is the sharing. So, go to the sharing tab. Then, click Advanced Sharing. Then, go to Share this folder. Check po natin yan. And then, yung share name, yung folder name, yun lang po yun. Then, on the permissions, we'll check the Allow Full Control. Apply and okay. Then apply okay. So yung po meron na po siya a uh, network path. Highlight that and copy. Kasi gagamitin po natin yan dito. Then on the security tab, okay. Pagka click yung po na security tab, go to advance. Then makikita niyo po dito yung list ng mga may permission like administrators, um, system, authenticated users, users. But ito po ay i-delete natin. So, by clicking the change permissions, okay, and check the include inheritable permissions from this object's parent. Okay, so, patagalin po natin yung uh, inheritable permissions. So, uncheck, and then remove. Now, what are we going to add is administrator, administrators, um, domain users, authenticated users, and system. Okay. So, how are we going to do that? So, click Add. Then, type first Admin. Then, check Names. Okay. So, lalabas po ng dalawa. Administrator and Administrator. So, select the first one. Click OK. And then, click OK. And then, full control allow. Okay. Click OK. Then, add again. This time, the Administrator. So, type Admin. Check names, select administrators, click OK, then full control. Same with sa authenticated users, uh, domain users, and system. So let's add authenticated users. So type AUTH, check names, OK, same thing, full control allow, click OK, then add domain users. So type in lang yung domain, check names, then Click Domain Users, click OK, Allow, then OK, and then add the last one, System, then check me. Click OK, Pull Control Allow, OK, so yun po. So mapapasin yun po dito, yung permissions natin is naka Pull Control, and it's not inherited. Then we need to click Apply, and click OK. Then click OK and then close. Alright. So yun po, may folder na tayo na gagamitin para sa folder redirection. So dito po pupunta yung lahat ng mga sinesave ng uh, domain users dun sa kanilang 
documents folder, can be desktop folder, features folder. So, it depends po kung ano po yung nakaset up sa ating folder redirection policy. Okay, so, next thing to do is go to your group policy management. And we will apply this doon po sa ating mga accounting users. Okay? So, kung in-apply lang po natin sa accounting users natin, then, hindi po ito uh, mag-work doon sa ating uh, human resource uh, users. Okay, so click on start. Okay, I'll just close this uh, right. So click on start, administrative tools, group policy management. Okay, so on your GPO, accounting policies, kaya po na, nasa, nakikita nyo sa screen, so right click po yan, then click edit. Then under user configuration, expand the policies, expand the window settings, and then makikita nyo po dito yung folder redirection. Okay, pagka-click nyo po ng folder redirection, nalabas po dito yung mga folders na uh, nakikita po ninyo sa inyong personal computer. I know that uh, you're familiar with the uh, documents folder, the downloads folder, pictures folder, na madalas nakikita nyo po ito sa inyong personal computer. Kasi ka po, kapag ang user nag-save sa kanya, for example, ang kinfigure natin dito is the uh, documents folder, nag-save yung user sa documents uh, documents folder niya, then, pupunta po dito kay server. Magkakamera po siya ng copy. Okay, so, to figure po natin is the documents folder. So, right-click documents folder, then properties. So, sa settings po niya, under target tab, it's not configured. So, we need to change this to basic. So, redirect everyone's folder to the same location. Okay. So, click po natin to, And then, sa root path, yung pong network path niya, yung aming folder. Okay. So, double backslash the computer name, backslash the folder, you know, folder's name. Then, click apply. Then, click yes. Okay. Now, for the settings, for settings tab, uncheck nyo po yung grant uh, the user exclusive rights of the documents para po ma-access po yung ating folder. Okay? So, click apply. Click yes. And then click OK. So, ganun po yung gagawin nyo para sa folder redirection. First, create a folder. Then, go to the sharing and the security properties. Then, after those, um, yun na po ang ating folder redirection policies na nasa group policy management. So, you can apply the uh, folder redirection policies sa kung ano man GPO po yung dapat pong applyan. Okay? So, now, We'll go to our client to uh, to test. Okay. So at first, make sure po na dapat yung user na inyong ilalagay ay yung pupusan may inapply po kayo na ganito policy. Okay. So kapag nakapaglagi na po kayo, go to the command prompt first or CMD. Then type gp update forward slash force okay so then press enter so updating policy po ito okay so user policy update has completed successfully Okay, and then may lumabas po na okay to log off, question mark, y slash n. Ibig sabihin po, if you press y, so mag magsa-sign out po yung ating uh, uh, computer. And if na end, then hindi po siya magsa-sign out. So press y to sign out or to log off. Okay, then we log in. Okay, so now guys, I'll try to save something on my um, documents folder. Kasi yun po yung pinipigure natin doon sa ating folder redirection policy. Okay, I'll just um, open a note file, for example. Okay, and then I'll type something. And then, isa-save ko po ito sa ating um, documents folder. 
So I'll select documents folder here and then I'll rename this to test. Test F R folder redirection. Let's save. Okay. Okay. So then now po, um, i-check po natin sa ating uh, redirect folder kung pumunta po doon yung CNAME ng domain user. So, I'll go to the D drive. So, saan pinirate natin yung folder. Okay. So, pagka open ko po ng folder, lumabas na po yung user log on name ng domain user. Okay. I'll open this. Then, yung folder na my documents. And then, yung po uh, sine po na file. Okay. So, nandun din po yung uh, isang folder na nakalagay po mismo doon sa uh, documents folder. Um, wala naman po tayong pinirate na folder na ganitong name and yung my documents folder. It's because po pagkaka meron po ng copy ang server kung ano man po yung nakalagay po doon sa documents folder. Yung po mismo buong documents folder po ang makakapi po. Okay? So, ganun po mag-work yung folder redirection. Uh, so, same din po doon sa mga user na na-implement po yung uh, folder redirection policies. Ganito din po yung mangyayari. Once na malagin po nila yon, and then next save sila, then magkakameron din po dito. Okay? Okay, so guys, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay? See you!